it's Christine. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I would like to say I've been really busy, but I've just been slacking off and I'll probably talk about why in another video that I'll hopefully do soon, sooner than this one. But what I wanted to talk about today was a blog post that I started working on and hopefully I'll finish today or tomorrow or something. And it's about Notre Dame Cathedral. And Obviously, I was just as shocked and horrified, although it distracted, when it was going on, um, watching the spire fall, and not knowing what was going to be lost and what might be saved in the cathedral, and just changing the landscape of the city of Paris and a piece of history of the world. And that's, you know, never feels good. And it's always kind of scary and shocking and um, leaves people wondering what's, you know, what's next. It's... But I got curious about what was next and kind of took a look at history over the last 850 years since Notre Dame was built or it started being built. And at the time Notre Dame was built, most churches were built with wood and a lot of them burned down, or at least partially burned down. And the ones that could be saved were often rebuilt. Some of these churches were rebuilt, you know, four times, five times, you know, for different types of damage and incidents and stuff. And the interesting thing is they're always built better and stronger and designed to survive more. And I think that's what is in the future for Notre Dame even though it's lost a piece of its history, it's going to rebuild as a stronger, more resilient church. It's a bit like people do. We all fall down at some point and we all have to pick ourselves back up and we become stronger at the other side of that. And that's what I expect from Notre Dame and that is what we do as humans. So. Just remember that um, when you feel like Notre Dame and you're on fire and the world is crumbling literally around you and inside of you, that there's a chance to rebuild and be better and stronger.